Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another flight at uh, Freedom of Flight. Today we're back in the UFLY Triple Seven, and today I'm joined by one of my aeronautics prof professors. And today we're going to be flying some fun flights out of Hong Kong and into Kai Tak. The uh, first leg of the flight will be mine. Professor Lasky has accumulated around 25,000 hours in his aviation career flying as a flight instructor, then becoming a professional pilot for Sky Service flying the Airbus A320, and retiring back into instructing at Seneca College. He has never been inside a 777 cockpit, and this will be his first time trying it out. Please note that this video is for entertainment purposes only. I am not a pilot, and Professor Lasky has never flown the Boeing 777 in his professional career. Therefore, expect some procedures to be inaccurate compared to how they would be carried out in real life. In addition, a special thank you to Claude Xera and New Fly Simulator for providing us with the amazing 777 Simulator facility. New Fly's 777 Simulator is open to the public and located in Mississauga, just off of runway 05 at Pearson. Won't show anything yeah, just yet. Perfect. Okay, so our flight plan is set up and so are our altimeters. So we'll do our performance data now. So we control the load and the fuel of the aircraft through this one. You can do it on any of them, but uh, just usually easier to do through here. So we'll go to Sim Options. Yeah, we've, we've flown this thing. We've flown this thing on 16, 17 hour flights before. Never actually sat through it. We teleport the aircraft, but okay. All right. So we'll set our cruising altitude for 2,500. So we'll do VNAV and LNAV. So VNAV and LNAV is basically like uh, manage FMC manage mode. So that's all my memory items. We'll run through the checklist now. Can I read for you? For sure. And we start with pre-flight. Yep. Inspection. Completed. Oxygen. Gotta check that. So there's a red button here. Flight management, FMC. Uh, program. Uh, departure briefing. So departure briefing. So we're taking off runway 07 left. Uh, we're doing a direct to this waypoint first, which is SMT. Then we'll be doing a bit of a right turn and following our waypoints to runway 13 of the HHX. So we're going to climb up to an altitude of 2,500 feet. Our V speeds, our V1 speed is 113, our rotate speed is 123, and our V2 speed is 136. So if we have an engine fire or a failure during takeoff, stop the plane as soon as possible. So that's, that's all I have for the departure briefing. Um, altimeters and flight instruments. So 2992, on uh, mine agrees with yours. Um, altimeter flight instruments, you're happy? Yep. Parking brake is set. Yep. Fuel control switches. Fuel control switches are cut off. Transponder? Transponder is on standby. Logbooks, ETOPS? Loaded. I'm a on board. APU? APU is running. So there's our ICAS right there if you were curious. So if you're running, doors are on automatic, no smoking sign is on. These are all the problems we have. And on the 777, there's a recall button. So you can actually go to different pages on the uh, ICAS via the recall button, or you can actually just clear all the messages on there. Uh, Pre-flight checklist complete before start checklist. Yes. External power? External power is disconnected. Cabin windows? Closed and locked. My side too. Seatbelt sign? Seatbelt signs on. Hydraulic pumps. Hydraulic pumps to automatic and on. Fuel quantity. Checked. We got 15,000 kilograms on board. Okay, and uh, fuel pumps? Fuel pumps to the on position. So we're using only left and right tanks yep. as the center tank is empty. Got it. Beacon. Beacon light is on. MCP autopilot panel. So we have set cruise altitude 2,500 feet. Max speed, we want to do 200 knots. Uh, for heading, we'll just set runway heading. 070. 070. And LNAV and VNAV are armed. Auto throttles are armed. Everything looks good on the MCP. CDU, reference speed. So our reference speeds are, as I mentioned earlier, V1 is 113, rotates 123, and V2 is 136. So those are set program. Trims. Trims are set. We got 4.75 inches, or 4.75 on the trim, and uh, we can confirm that on the flight controls menu here we got 4.77 set on the stabilizer doors doors we'll get those on automatic now so we'll alert the crew before start complete push back and uh, start to go okay and then after start checklist is next so we can store that for the time being and we'll do the pushback now you fly triple seven to ground ground go ahead requesting pushback that parking brake 
Parking brake is set. They're connecting the tow now. Okay. Steering pin inserted. Go ahead and release the brakes. Brakes released. So we're going to wait for them to give us clearance to start our engines. Clear for startup. Okay, so engines are clear for startup. So we're going to go up here. These are our starter ignition switches. So we usually what we do is we just switch it to start and then we bring the fuel up right away. <laughs> like an air bus. Yeah. Yeah, it's, just, it's, uh, it's uh, e uh, not ECAM, it's, uh, it's all automatic. Yes. You just watch it. Yep. On the 737, that is not the case. Oh, no, no, no. You have to wait till it spools up. So we'll wait for the uh, engine to have a good start. Okay, engine number two is a good start. So we'll do engine number one. Okay, so engine number one has a good start. Our APU is still running, so... TCAS test passed. TCAS test passed. I just turned on the TCAS. Okay. Auto brakes to RTO. And uh, taxi lights on. And uh, strobe lights, we'll turn them on when we get on the runway. Yeah, let's do the after start checklist. Um, who's taxiing? Uh, you can taxi. Checklist. <laughs> Engine anti-ice. Engine anti-ice. <laughs> I have no idea where it is. Right here. Okay, and it's uh, auto? It always goes to auto, yeah. yeah. I, I was guessing. So engine anti-ice is <coughs> auto. The recall check. So now we're going to hit the recall button. Check the ICAS. Make sure we have no messages and we'll clear the master caution. Auto brakes. RTO. Flaps. Set them down to five as that is our takeoff performance. Okay. Uh, so final load sheets received. Flight deck door. Usually we would do this before, but it's already been locked and closed. <coughs> okay, so next text, next uh, checklist is before takeoff. So we'll do that when we line up at the runway. We don't have any charts. Don't just follow my lead. I'll tell you left, right. <laughs> <laughs> so you know already. This is your throttle you quadrant. Parking breaker here. You know do we have tow brakes on this. Yep. So same differential. Same as every other airplane. Yep. And on the triple seven, the taxi, we have the tiller. Right. Same as the Airbus. Um, hydraulic. And um, uh, do we do a flight control check here? Or oh yes, that's actually a good point. Usually we do it at the uh, at the runway, but uh, okay. And it rolls it forward, and I didn't take the brake off. So I noticed that as well. So we'll do a flight control check. So we're on the flight control uh, screen here. So we'll do a full up. Looks like it's hitting you. <laughs> okay, let me get back. Full up. I'm fine. I, I won't be able to reach the rudder pedals if it does. Full down. Oh, it's okay. We won't need to use full extension. Full left. Full right. Neutral. And full rudder left. Full rudder right. And neutral. What are these? Uh, right flapper on. Oh, left flapper on. Okay. The is a bit stiff as well on, yep. on the left, just so you know. Okay. Uh, flight check, uh, uh, flight control checked. Okay, now we can start taxi. So our ground speed indicator is going to be right here, top left corner of your map. And we'll put this back into arc mode. Yeah. And where am I going? Uh, we're going to take a right. Here? We're actually, uh, next. So Turn in here? Yep. So on the triple seven, you're looking to be ready, right okay, Captain? Okay, great. That's the position for the seat. Great, thank you. With the uh, perspective, it looks like a very tight turn here. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch our departure runway to zero seven right. Okay. So we don't have to taxi as much. Now, particularly the triple seven, the nose wheel is about ten feet behind. Yes, I've I've been engaging for that, but uh, it, this uh, tiller is very. I, is it this sloppy in the airplane? The, the Airbus is really sensitive, and this Just I'm finding. Yeah, I'm finding this is really. It, it, it's it's manageable, but it seems. Uh, we're gonna straight down. See where those white lights are. There's another aircraft there. We're gonna line up behind them. Okay. Hey, Captain, for your ground speed, you look into your FMs. Uh, Top left of your map. Primary flight display. Same spot as the Airbus. Okay. Perfect. I don't know about you, but I'm having fun. <laughs> I really am. That's good. I'm glad. Oh, he's not. He's busy. He's flying with the professor. Are you kidding? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I am a little nervous. We, had, we had that talk already. <laughs> I we had that talk already. I, I, oh, let me let me just start right here. I'm impressed already. 
That's by good. you, so don't worry about it. That's good. He doesn't have to be nervous at all. I'm more nervous than he should be. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Win number one for the takeoff. Check. Yep, so we'll be... Cabin crew, please be seated for departure. <laughs> we actually have that. It, well, it's, it's, it's interesting, it's just how, you know, the, the muscle memory. So do we get a, a, a call from the flight attendants, cabin secure? No. Okay. Um, any airline would. Or a cargo plane. Yeah. <laughs> any airline would. They, they, they wouldn't go to position until they got a, the word from the, the back end, cabin secure. Okay. Have you done D1 cuts in this thing? I'm not sure what that is. Um, just at the point of rotation, the engine clicks. I haven't done the one of those yet. Okay, will this do it? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, um, we could do an engine fire. First flight, right away? Um, <laughs> first flight, we're going to uh, take it easy. No, 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 I know, but I, I want to do one with you because um, you're, every single ride you do, you're going to do a V1 time. Okay. From, from every single one. The captain will do one, and then you'll do one. And... Um, um, there's a trick to them, and I, I would like to just demonstrate a low visibility um, V1 cut. All right. Because you are going to be doing, you'll be doing 1,200 RVR, and the captain will be doing 600 RVR. Can you set up RVR in this thing? What is that? A runway visual range. Yes, we can set that up, yep. Okay, so um, uh, uh, at some point in, the, in the, the procedure tonight, I'd like to do a 1,200 RVR takeoff. You're going to do it. Uh, can you program in an engine failure? Yes. It's going to be right at V1. So someone's going to call V1, and then the engine's going to fail right at that point, and then you're going. Because uh, any time, anything before V1, you've got we'll enough stop. runway to stop. Yep. Anything after somebody calls V1, you, you don't, don't have enough runway to stop. That's right. So you're, 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 you're taking off. And you'll see in every, uh, uh, you, if it was your takeoff, you would push the thrust levers forward, and uh, right after you did it, you, you would take your hand off it, the captain would have their hand on it, and as soon as you call V1, or somebody calls V1, they take their hand off. Because you are not gonna reject at that point. Yep. Yeah, we, we teach this, the clients the same thing here. Good. All right, am I going to position, or am I stopping? Yep, we're going to position, and we'll do landing lights on. The flight number seven, you're clear to line up on runway zero seven, immediately take them. Thank you, ATC. <laughs> it's, it's good. No, it's really good to keep those procedures in. It's good for you. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Great for you. It's incredible. You know, like I'm thinking, did I hear back from the FAs? The, the <laughs> it's, it's that realistic. It's bringing you well, back a little bit. Oh, eh? Well, it's just, you know, it's the, the muscle memory and it's everything with it just to make sure that. All right. So we'll set the parking brake and then we'll I'll take the controls and we'll do the pre-flight checklist or before takeoff checklist. Parking brake set. Look, no, it's not. Parking brake set. As soon as you press the brakes, you will release the parking brake. Yeah, that's, the ah, that's okay. a simulated thing. thing on the got it. The on the parking brake okay, I think I've got you lined up. Not quite. That's okay. I will correct it during takeoff roll. Can okay. I? S can you please run through the uh, before takeoff checklist? I think it's on your side over there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry, I didn't see it there. All right. Okay. Um, before takeoff checklist. Yes. Flaps. Flying. There should be pilot flying. Flaps five and green. Okay, uh, transponder? Transponder is T-A-R-A. And flight controls? Checked. You did check them. Uh, trim? Set 4.77. And uh, um, alter the alert the crew, cabin, cabin ready. Okay, and uh, align with the runway after takeoff check goes to go. Okay, so my controls? You have control, Part lined up on release. runway zero 07. So usually the takeoff procedure in this is we're going to advance the throttles up to about 50%. It's pretty standard. We'll wait for the engines to stabilize. And then to engage auto throttle, there's a button here that's a TOGA button. Take off, go around. So it'll set a, a, a flex number? Uh, yes, we, we set that in the um, engine thrust limit. So already. it'll only go up to that? Yes, so right now our thrust limit is 102. And checked? V1. Rotate. V2. Land is very light. Positive weight. Gear up, please. Pull. Slow. Yeah, there you go. Spend enough time in the boys simulator on you now. That's all. Now I'm just following the flight director. Uh, after takeoff. You ready? Yep. A gear. Up and flaps. Up. And uh, anti ice. Automatic. Lights. Uh, landing lights on, still below 10,000. 
Okay, and APU? Is the off position. And the uh, takeoff checklist is complete. And uh, let's do the descent checklist. <laughs> we're <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> oh, I've done this. I took off uh, from 06 in Hamilton and landed 06 in, in Toronto. Yeah. I didn't even want to get the gear up. Um, okay, uh, and uh, descent checklist. Yes. Seat belts? On. Altimeters? Uh, set 2992. Can you please set speed 160? Gladly. And uh, flaps 5 for me, please. Flaps live set? Flaps 15. And check. Speed checks? Flaps 15. And um, reference speeds? Uh, not set. So our approach speed will be 30 degrees of flaps and <laughs> 126 knots with a correction of 5 knots for wind. Okay, and uh, auto brakes? Auto brakes to 2, please. To set, do I get confirmation other than just looking at it? Uh, yes, auto brake two on the ICAS. Got it. Okay, and um, speed down to one four zero, please. And um, uh, speed brake arm, please. So we're just going to pull the speed brake just a little bit to the arm position. That's the trim. This is the speed brake. That's it. Okay. Now speed brake is armed, as indicated on the ICAS. All right, and uh, arrival briefing. <laughs> uh, we're landing runway one three. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Consider me briefed. Minimums. Minimums will set uh, 200 on the radio. So minimums are your top left a dial there, the little one. This one? The little dial, yep. The little? The little one, top left. Got it. Yeah, outer one. Got it. And what are minimums? 200. Okay. Uh, we're there and... Uh, uh, approach checklist, please. Okay. Landing gear down. Um, <laughs> speed <laughs> checks. No, I, well, that was great. Flaps 30, please. Speed, uh, yeah, speed checks? Uh, speed checks. 30 Speed select. down to 140. Okay. 140 is set. Perfect. Um, Check the board in sight. Let's focus on the landing for now. We're all set. Okay. I'll just read through this. Uh, altimeter, route crew, maps, charts. Uh, okay. That's it. Landing checks to go. Great. So there's a checkerboard up in front of us. You see a checkerboard there? Right in front? Um, in the buildings there? Uh, just past the building. There's a little mountain here with a checkerboard. It's coming up. It's red and, I red got and it. white. I, I have it. Got it. Got it. Got it. So we're a bit high. Yeah, yeah we're about to swing wow, for the right wow, turn. Wow, wow, wow. 500. Okay. Just check to make sure the gear was down. 400. Good. Approaching. Have it. One, three. Is this airport still in operation? No, it's been decommissioned for a long so. time. Approaching minimums. Yeah, we're very high. <laughs> this would be go around, but minimums. It's a good thing we're in the simulator. Runway side. Confirm landing. landing. Confirm landing. One hundred. Uh, lights on. Gear down. Speed brakes armed. Forty. And flap set. And retard. Um, do we have auto brake set? Yep. Okay. Ten. Very nice. There have been people who touched down here. At this airport? Oh, yes. Gun off the end, actually. 60 knots. And Very nice. Lovely. I'm, you know, cool. this thing's heavy, sure yeah. and sure uh, for you to move it around like that, it's pretty impressive. It's Andrew. taken me a long time to get it, trust me. I, I had, had, had 15,000 hours before I ever got my hands on it over 12.5, which was the Airbus, and it took me forever to manage that kind of weight. That is really nicely done. Okay.